Well, what in the heck? Good morning, happy people. I'm with three absolutely fantastic people, and it's a unique crowd today. Hey, you realize we're trying to make a video up here, you guys? First is my attorney. Second is my dentist. Third is my sidekick, PK. You guys, we're gonna have a great time. We're running over to the Bahamas today with the mission of catching a big wahoo. Let's rock. All right, you guys, there's the lighthouse. We're heading east. Love you. We'll see you on the other side. This is west end of Grand Bahama Island. And uh, when we were running over, it was a little bumpy at times, but man, the sun's coming up and it has turned absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna go in, clear customs, and then we're gonna run to the north. Today, it's all about catching wahoo. Let me show you guys how I wahoo fish. It's a little bit different than a lot of people. Um, it's a much slower speed but we've already caught four today, so it's kind of kind of works. This is a big number five planer. We want to just drop it in the water. This planer is going out and it's digging down into the water. And that right there is my planer bait. It's a double hooked split tail mullet. Has great action and wahoo, absolutely love it. always try to get my deep bait out first. We're gonna drop it back and then I'll show you how I attach it. What I do is I take my line, take a number number 64 or number 32 rubber band and I wrap the rubber band around it several times just like that. What I do is I hook that rubber band and that's gonna run it down deep. Just like that. Perfect. Now that bait is subsurface. It's underwater and it's swimming along. Then I'm going to take a, a big swimming ballyhoo with a Hawaiian eye and I'll put it over top of it. These wahoo really like a bait far back. When I put it in the outrigger, I want to spin it up. All right, now, put this right here. Typical outrigger situation. This is our left long, that's our left flat. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right hand side. All right, you guys, so I'm doing something really sketchy. This is the only GoPro I've got, and I'm putting it in this, it's called trollpro.com. On a Z-Wing, we're gonna try to get some underwater shots. If it works, it's gonna be awesome. If it doesn't, I'm gonna lose my GoPro. That's gonna suck. Let's see what happens now, y'all. Oh, nice one, nice one. Listen to this fish run. Oh, there he goes, double. Real, 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 real. I lost this one. 
When we're tied on a Wahoo like this, we're using really light tackle. A lot of the boats out here are high speed trolling. We're trolling bait and uh, using much smaller hooks. So I don't need to keep the boat moving as fast. We're gonna keep the boat in a right hand turn so that the fish comes up right alongside the boat, gaff them and put them straight in the boat. If you keep in gear, out of gear, in gear, out of gear, that's like ringing the dinner bell for sharks. So just keep the boat gently in gear, just like this. Keep it in a turn. Keep the fish right on the center of your turn. Bring them home. We're making bacon, baby. Work, 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 work close. Be careful, Nick. This is a nice fish, you guys. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm all the way over. It's okay. Point your tip on that. Oh, real, 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 real. Got him. Oh, yeah, baby. He's there, baby. Good job, Stop. guys. Woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Yeah. Great start to a great day, man. Boom! Oh, that's for sure. That's the biggest one of the day right there, y'all. Can I get that? This has been an absolutely amazing day. Just so much fun. We'll take the ratchet off here. There you go. This fish hit so hard. Came in and he ate the left deep bait first. Missed him. Then he came right over here and pounded the right. Look at him. Beautiful. Holy Beautiful fish. Cow. Okay, straighten it up a little more, straighten it up a little more. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Okay, let me hold this, keep going, just keep going. Keep it in the gear just like you are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, baby, woo! We had a good day. We had an amazing, amazing day. Yesterday, he fixed my nephew, Jake's tooth, this morning we come out here and we're wahoo fishing. That's my attorney, Chris Galetta. He's an awesome guy, always keeps me straight, keeps all my contracts good. And um, it's just a wonderful day, man. And I appreciate you, brother. Me too, I appreciate you. Good bloody, day. Bloody Dex. Check him out, if you guys live in South Florida, this is the best dentist on earth, man. I hate dentists, this guy's all right. Thank you. It'll be in the description below. My first time ever coming here to the Bahamas, you know, with good people, having a good time fishing. We did an awesome job today, man. I can't, I can't say anything bad about that. It's a wonderful day. Ran over in the morning, checked in, fished, now we're running back. Loving life, y'all. See you on the East Coast. right now but I can't get comfortable. <laughs> I had like three hours of sleep last night. Woo! Great day y'all. Pop up bro! In life, all you really have are your memories. Make as many as you can. All right, you guys, it's always a blessing. Anytime you can go and come back, no problems, caught a bunch of nice fish, made great memories with awesome friends. We're gonna go back to the dock, cut these fish up, and then tomorrow we will be cooking some kind of unique Wahoo recipe. Look at that big, beautiful Wahoo. Let me show you how to clean a really big fish with a really small knife. Come in right here and cut right up into that head. There's so much meat in there. And then you can see right there, that is its lateral line. And you just wanna make a nice cut right down the center of the fish's body. Good 
good. Take that knife, follow as close to the backbone as you can, right here. And it does help to have a nice and sharp knife. And then when you're filleting five of them, it helps if the knife stays nice and sharp. Watch this. Perfect, perfect piece of fish. Now, that's your center line. All you've got to do is now angle down on that backbone, follow it right up there, flip this over. There's your second. Good deal. This knife is like crazy sharp. Good. And the second side is always slightly more difficult than the first side. Take your knife, cut up, just like that. Now, I like to line myself up right behind it Come right down the center. This should just peel right off. Bam! Look how pretty that is. Then, have that now. Now PK really wants to save some of this carcass. What's your name? Jeff. Jeff? Yes. What's going on? How long have you been watching the channel? Uh, about a year or two. Right on. How many people are you feeding? Uh, just me and my brother and my dad at home. A few friends? Yeah. Jeez. How's that look? That's amazing. Awesome. Here you go, bro. Thank you so much. I no appreciate it. Thanks for being I always tell everybody, if it weren't for y'all, I'd just be talking to a camera. So I love you guys and I appreciate you. Thank you. We'll see you in the kitchen, all right? I'm hungry and I'm tired. See you, bro. See you, man. I hope y'all are enjoying this video because I am slap worn out. The entire day in the Bahamas was amazing. Came back with a ton of fish. And the cool thing is I was able to bag up so much of it and send back to Washington with PK. PK, I hope you're enjoying it. Now, in the morning, in like three hours, we're gonna be on an airplane heading to Las Vegas for SHOT Show, but we can't leave without eating some of those fish. Now, let me show you how I package it first of all. Um, if you're gonna eat Wahoo, when you fillet it out, wrap it in paper towel like this, Keep it nice and dry, just like that. And then, no mess. All you're gonna do is pick one of your loins. We'll take this one right here, top and bottom. Look how nice it cuts. Right here. You don't wanna cut it super close to the skin because you want all the red meat to come off. Just like that. Now, take that loin. And gently cut. Nice little slices. It's good to be using a very sharp knife when you do this. Take some soy sauce, lime, a little 
sriracha. Mix it all up. It won't get any fresher than that. I love the sushi. Mm. That's fresh. That's phenomenal, isn't it? So listen, we're gonna slice this up, sit here and, and chat, have a good time as buddies, because hey, what else do, do you do when you've got a flight in three hours? <laughs> um, but this was amazing. And I really appreciate you guys being a part of our channel, a part of our lives, and a part of what we do. But for now, man, I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I'm excited. But that's all I got for you tonight, y'all. Take care, God bless. We're gone.